This video is meant to show you how to use the Lightorama Sequence Editor's Intelligent Fade Tool. So this guy right here is the Intelligent Fade Tool. Before we actually use them though, let's remind ourselves about the uh, not-so-intelligent Fade Tools, which are the Fade Up and Fade Down Tools. So let's select Fade Up, and if we click and drag in some area, it causes a Fade Up to happen in that area. In other words, the lights uh, that are connected to this channel, they, when, the, when the sequence reaches this point during play, they'll start fading up from being off to gradually being brighter and brighter and brighter until finally they're fully on over here. The fade down tool is similar except it's fading down from being on to being off. And now the intelligent fade tool can do either one of these things. If I click and drag to the right, it's a fade up. If I click and drag to the left, it's a fade down. So that just makes it a little more convenient uh, to use if you're doing a bunch of fades in both directions, rather than constantly clicking fade up, doing your fade up, then going to fade down and doing fade down here, and then back to fade up. In a lot of cases, you can just use the intelligent fade tool, do fade ups by dragging to the right, and do fade downs by dragging to the left. Now there's one other thing that the Intelligent Fade tool can do, which is that it can do fills. So let's, for example, take a uh, Set Intensity tool, which it's at 50% there, and then let's make the channel completely on over here. If I select the Intelligent Fade tool, what I told you before is that if I click and drag left, it'll do one thing, and I click and drag right, it'll do another. Well, if you just click without dragging, it'll do a third thing, which is to fill between these two areas. So let me uh, get the selection out of there so you can see better. It automatically filled this area starting at 50% intensity and going up to 100% intensity. Now. For example, if I turn the, these cells off, this should end at about 75 right here, because it was halfway from 50 to 100 before. And then I change, uh, let's say, make a fade up over here. Then if I do an intelligent fade here with just clicking, instead of clicking and dragging, it should fade down from 75 to 0. And that's exactly what it does. So that's the Intelligent Fade tool. It can be useful if you're doing a bunch of fades. Drag right to fade up. Drag left to fade down. Click without dragging to fill. I hope this helps.